To grade submitted assignments in NECA, first navigate to the course site where the assignments are located, and then navigate to the assignment tool located in the left, uh, the menu bar on the left hand side. In this video you'll see that I have both assignment 2 and assignments. For the sake of this video we'll be using the assignment 2 tool. Once you've entered the assignment tool, uh, locate the assignment that you wish to grade. Um, I'll be using this, this video test assignment. Um, once, you've you, once you have found that, click on the link in the uh, in a new column to go into the submissions for that assignment. You'll see all of the submissions that have been sent in by the students, including a date and time stamp. Um, whether or not they have submitted or started the assignment. If you're using Turnitin for this assignment, you'll see the originality report show up here. Um, in this instance, this uh, um, yellow triangle means that <clears throat> the um, originality report is not yet ready. I'm going to click on the student whose assignment I wish to grade. And you can see <clears throat> several pieces of information including the uh, attachment that the student submitted with their assignment. You can click on that link to download the assignment, make comments, and then re-upload it later back to the student when you're ready to grade it. You do have uh, an option right above that that says override assignment level settings. This will allow you to um, do a, a resubmission for the student if you wish. If you click on that checkbox, you can then uh, specify how many submissions that student has left. Um, so if you wish for them to have one resubmission, you can click on the one. Um, you can also decide whether or not to extend the due date for that assignment. Uh, so it shows you the original due date, and then if you choose yes, I want to extend the, the due date, you can change the date stamp there. You can also provide assignment feedback in the box located below the uh, submission uh, attachments from the student. And if you, you can also uh, submit or send back to students attachments that you have edited. So if the student submitted a Word document and you decided to track changes, you can then upload that newly saved document for the student to view using this link here. Once you're finished making all the adjustments and grading the assignment, you can either save, uh, click the Save button, which will save the grade in the comments in NECA but will not release it to the students. You can also choose Save and Release Feedback, which allows the student to see their grade and any feedback you've provided to them. Clicking on this button also sends the grade to the NECA gradebook if you have it set up that way. In this instance, you'll notice there was not a place for me to enter a grade because I indicated that this grade, this was an ungraded assignment. Once you're finished, you can use the navigation box on the right hand side to move to the next student, or you can click the link that says return to submission list to see all of the students. Once you have return back to the assignment list you can then click on another student's name to uh, view and grade their submissions or move on to a different task. You'll notice that the student whose assignment we graded now has a checkbox in the feedback released indicating that the student can see their uh, grade for this particular assignment as well as any comments you provided.